I've got Ron Darling, who's calling with Ernie Johnson tonight. One of the topics of discussion based on last night's wildcard game was the celebration that the Yankees had uh, in the clubhouse with champagne all over the place and goggles and 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 putting up the plastic on the uh, on the clubhouse walls to keep everything dry. A lot of folks were like, why are the Yankees celebrating a wild card win like it was the World Series, certainly when they got 27 in the case? What yeah, is, what's your stance um, on that, Ron? You know, I, I think this is a uh, – we're old guys, and uh, this is millennial age, and uh, everybody gets a trophy, and everybody wants to celebrate whatever. I, I'm not against it. Um, I would think, though, that for – most ball clubs, I think it's really fun to put the goggles on and the champagne and all that stuff. But really, the prize is that at some point um, you've got to win, you know, 11 games. And uh, um, I, I, I think if I were on a team, I would like it to be celebrated less. But I played on a team, um, uh, the 86 Mets, that probably would have celebrated more than anyone. So I can never <laughs> accuse anyone. <laughs> Who would have led it? Who would have led it, Ron? Who would have led that celebration? Uh, the celebration, I think, would have been led by Hernandez and Dykstra and the, uh, those guys. I think they would have been uh, Keith, uh, front and center. Keith would have been front and center with the, with the, with the champagne. Huh? I mean, what would David Johnson have said? Uh, guys David, were... David Johnson would have been in the background. Gary Carter would have been out in front, yeah. uh, <laughs> the late great. So. <laughs> See, uh, it's interesting, man. It's interesting you brought up the trophy culture because I said that too in the first hour. I'm going back and forth that these are kids in the Yankees uh, clubhouse that not many people gave a shot to actually con- coalesce like they did. Yeah. And you want to act like you've been there before. They haven't been there before. Most of them in that clubhouse have not been there before. But then there is the trophy culture where everybody gets an orange wedge these days in youth sports, Ron. And the- yeah, well, well, you have to remember also last year at this time we probably had some discussions that the Yankees were two or three years away from being a contending ball club. And uh, what they have done there in such a quick time. Now, listen, uh, no one knew that Aaron Judge was going to turn into Babe Ruth uh, for the summer. But uh, uh, I mean, what they've done in a year's time when most people thought after trading Miller and Chapman to get some – help in the minor leagues that they were going to turn into the team they have and uh, they're really scary and I'm, sh- I'm sure the Indians uh, know that. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> 